Let's do question number one. Question number one says, a person can purchase a particular model of a car with the choice of 11 colors. Mm -hmm. They can also choose to have it with or without transmission. So you can either have automatic transmission or not have automatic transmission. So there's two possibilities there. You can also have it with or without four-wheel drive. Right? So one option, you have it. The other option, you do not have it. And with or without AC. I don't know who would choose the one without AC. But sure, that's a possibility. So the question is, how many different options are there for this model of the car? Well, if you have 11 color choices, those 11 colors could be with or without automatic transmission. So, so far you've got 11 colors times every single one that has automatic transmission and every single one that does not have automatic transition. So that's times two. Then you could have all these combinations with four-wheel drive or without four-wheel drive. So that's times two again. And then, once again, you could have with AC or option number two, without AC, times two again. If you do this, it'd probably be easier to do the twos first. Two times two times two, well, that's eight. And 11 times eight is 88. There are 88 possible car combinations you could get just looking at those options. And that is question number one.